So you're not averse to taking a little trip? Wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the request comes from to us from the adventurous guild in Ulda. Once you arrive, seek out Momadi, the proprietors of Quicksand. Think of her as the Sultanate's version of myself. Chances are she sent you to the midst of danger, but I have every confidence you will prove you unscathed. Now off with you, Desiree, and good luck. Okay, I'll bring you quickly to Ulda. Welcome to the Quicksand, friend. I'm a tad busy right now if you wouldn't mind showing yourself to. Ah, oh, it's you, Desiree. And there I was spouting the same tired line. Mion sent word you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of a moment. But you didn't come here all the way to listen to me prattle. Doubtless you are eager to get started. So let's talk business, shall we? Petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. God so might you never second under the sun I would have been set afire. A tankard of ale if you would be so kind. Excellent timing, Papa Shan. It just so happens the adventurer who will be handling your petitioners here. Oh, who I have isn't my good friend Desiree. It does my spirit well to know that you are the one who will be helping us. Mayhap you like to apprise Desiree of her mission? Yes, of course. The petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copperbell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of a place. These giants of a clan known as the Hecaton shares fearsome creatures who were sealed within the de deepest depths of a mine during the bygone Fawn Dynasty. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities on the site. No wonder we are angry. Didn't the Fawn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history, my lady. The people of that age used the Hecaton shares to work their minds by way of enchanted helms where they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But as is often the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hecaton shares, our ancestors induced the, the collapse of the mines lowermost levels, and so it was with the great giant revolt has ended buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rocks. Well now, that got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell in the Mithril Isle a fortnight ago or so. It said the mines are being reopened so as to meet the rising demand for material for building materials. Like as not our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them a danger to us all. There will be no mining at Copper Bell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is a task which we would have you undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. God bless you. I feared you might have reservations, but I assure you, it is for the best. Hmm, I don't, in case you don't know, copper mines are in Western Fenelon. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Amagina and Sons is presently at the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Nessa and he knows copper mines well. And may behoove you to seek his counsel. Looking for Pain and Mesa? You found him. So you're the adventurer who volunteered to deal with a mess down in Copper Bell, huh? You've got guards, mess. I just hope you've got skills to go with them, cause things are, things ain't pretty down there. The Hecaton shares have left the place in the right state, and now we're a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell was old 
when the second Ul dynasty was still young and was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for a building effort, the concern might never have thought to reopen it. We knew full, full well about the giants before, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. Our miners stuck up more than they bargained for. One string of a pickaxe too many and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glory so the cavalry will grind to a halt for want of ore to build with. The stone torches are keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. The hope of a nation's resting on you, friend. Best of luck. Okay. Um, a bit, bit, bit far out. Okay, Stone Torch. There has been an incident inside Copperbell Mines. We are here to ensure that this, its efforts are contained. But for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from here. What? You are the adventurer who volunteered to quell the Hecatonchers? I didn't think my Papa Sean would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it'll only be a, oh, but it'll, it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready as best you can and enter at will. But uh, welcome to the Copperwell Mines. the lift. Follow the path, follow the path.
just to explore the room to have a map completion. food just for three percent more XP We picked it up already, the, the fire sand. We need that. Plant the fire sand. Press the lever. This is the simplest boss arena ever. Just mobs. First bump? First bump. Okay. 
the second bomb. Third bomb. I believe after this should be the... You could call him a boss, even if he doesn't deserve that term. The giant. That's it. First boss. I greeted. Yeah, use the key that lay that to open the door. the Aaron soul more important the blasting cap because it drops uh, fire symbol again And our second boss. Come here, bomb. Blew the bomb to the boss and let it explode in his face. Do that, I believe, three times? Four? The only job a DPS would have here is. Lure the bomb here and maybe shoot down the Spriggan.
but apparently that uh, from time to time shows up to kill the bomb before it can explode. can simply cut them down. Trick that way, but the shorter way is jump down there.
and they pulled. Masters must pay, masters must die. Never again, never! <sighs> Just focus on the boss. Okay, Aurelian takes the X. As I said, you can simply focus on the boss and burn him down before they ever become a threat. Even at level. Okay, everyone else already left. So, um, while I waited for the group to find, I went here to this camp in Central Fenelon, where I want to talk to this person for the ability Materia Extraction. What would you say if I told you that inan inanimate objects can possess a soul? They can, believe it or not, although the soul in question is not their own, but that of their owner. Uh, through faithful service, the arms and armor that we use can come to hold your spiritual energy, thus to reform a spirit bond with them. This spiritual energy can be drawn out and converted into materia, a special kind of crystal that can be attached to gear to enhance its properties. I'm well versed in the ways of materia extraction. If you wish to learn more about the process, it would be my pleasure to teach you. You're ready to commence your learning? Good. As you will have gathered by now, materia is the crystallized form of one's spiritual energy. As this energy is derived from an in individual's psyche, a volatile beast at the best of times a degree of variance is to be expected in its production. In practice, that means that you won't know the exact properties of a stone until you cradle it in your hand. Now, material won't grant you much of anything on its own. Its power must be tapped, see, and this is achieved by melding it to gear. Know, though, that it takes the deft hands of a craftsman to melt material. You can always seek others to attach material on your behalf, but if you would sooner do it yourself, I recommend you speak with... Uh, Foppas. Melding is her field of expertise. Where we get dark matter and the material and extraction ability. Now, you have an item with spirit bond here. Um, yeah, I can't remove a mouse from there. But you see, under condition, spirit bond repair level, when spirit bond is 100%, you can extract material. And now, the spirit bond is back to one. And I have a material in my inventory. Okay, with that, back to... Uh, Painted Mesa. As I said, m put uh, here, here we have this, this uh, empty slot. That is where materia comes in. But I can't do that because to 
put an item in put a material into an item you need to be a crafter who can craft that type of item in this case a sword you need a blacksmith or an armor you need an armorer hmm he's glowing golden that means there will be another battle mm. You know what? I think I do that next episode. Until then, I'm Mace and don't get lost. <laughs>